What's going on guys, Geosnow right here. Today we're discussing again about the iOS 9.x downgrade because now you can actually do it yourself. You've probably been hearing me talking about this on the channel for quite a while now about a so-called re-restore bug that is actually allowing you, if you have saved your blobs, to restore from any firmware, being it iOS 10, iOS uh, 9.3.5 for example, iOS 8, iOS 7, iOS 6, back to iOS 9.x for the version for which you have the firmware uh, blobs saved. Now, we discussed about that being achieved in this video that I made two days ago, and um, now we have something very great to discuss in today's video, and that is this uh, link in here from this profile, Jonathan Seals. He posted uh, two hours ago, no, I think nine hours ago, that was it. Twitter uh, time is actually not working correctly. Nine hours ago, he has been posting Quote, iDevice Restore version 1.0.1 for macOS is up now and should be hopefully solving or resolve the uh, dependency issue for those who had them. And this is their official website. Now, I didn't know they, uh, they actually have a website, but they do, and it's called downgrade.party. Yeah, apparently these strange domains like party or supplies are now actually used lately. Anyways, this is the uh, link. I'm going to link it, link it in the description down below for you to be able to get the tools. And you have it for macOS and Linux. Unfortunately, there is no Windows version and I have no idea if they're going to release one or not. Um, the idea behind it is that they are using the... Um, the re-restore bug. So the tool, after you download it, you are going to get a folder like this. You're going to have a modified version of Livey Mobile Device iDevice Restore component, which is actually a restore mechanism, a restore program, which is a command line tool. And then you have a, a, a SHSH folder. Now, before we uh, continue on this video, I would like to point out something. I get a lot of comments on the uh, videos that I made lately about the downgrades in which people are complaining that I'm not actually putting in the title the fact that you need SHSH blobs when the title is too long and I actually do not have enough space to do so. But you should probably know, I think it's common sense by now, but for those of you who do not know, I'm going to explain again. There is no way you can downgrade iOS without having SHSH blobs. If you want to downgrade iOS without SHSH blobs, you must have a powerful bootrom exploit, which is very hard to find. And uh, in fact, we didn't have one since A4 devices, which is iPhone 4 in the um, lower devices. And uh, this means that uh, without a bootrom exploit, and even in that case, the uh, downgrade will be tethered. But without a bootrom exploit, there is no way you can downgrade without having SHSH blobs. So people, start saving your SHSH blobs. There is no way, and probably there will never be a way to actually escape the SHSH blob. It's only a file. As you can see, this is how it looks like. It creates a file. This is not actually iOS 9.x to be... Uh, uh, honest with you, but the problem is that if you do not save it when the iOS version for which you want to save it is signed, you will not be able to save it later. And of course, when tutorials like this are going to appear, you're going to be pissed off because you cannot follow the tutorial and you cannot get it back to the whatever firmware you want because you, did not, you didn't save your blobs. I already have a lot of videos on how to save them, so be sure to check them out in the description and make sure you save your blobs in the future, no matter for which iOS versions just save them because it's impossible to downgrade without them. I really hope people will understand now that it's impossible to downgrade wi without blobs as they are part of the trusted boot chain on the iOS and iOS will not boot without the blob. Now uh, the iDevice Restore firm, uh, sorry, the iOS iDevice Restore tool that is actually rebranded as iDevice Re-Restore is actually, as I said, a modified version of the uh, Live Mobile Device iDevice Restore component, but it includes a, a new parameter in here called uh, dash R, which makes use or takes advantage of the iOS 9.x 32-bit Re-Restore bug. As we discussed in my uh, video in which I discussed about the um, iOS 10.3 to 9.x downgrade being achieved on 32-bit and requiring SHSH, uh, you must see this video first in order to understand how this works, but you should keep in mind that you can go from any firmware, it doesn't really matter, from any firmware to iOS 9.x, but you cannot go 
to iOS 6, even if you have the blobs. You cannot go to iOS 6 or to iOS 8 or to iOS 7, only to iOS 9.x. All the ranges of iOS 9.x firmwares and only on 32-bit devices, to make things clear. Now, um, as I said, the uh, tool itself makes use of this parameter in here in order to, to use the uh, the bug itself and you need to place your blob in here as I did with mine. It doesn't come with the blob in here, but you need to place one in here in order to make use of this info. The, uh, the blob has to be, as I said, already saved. You cannot save it right now. The uh, blobs can only be saved when the iOS firmware in, the, in code can be signed by Apple. After it's dropped, it's impossible to save the blob. You should keep that in mind to prevent future questions. Well, you can download the uh, tool from the description down below. If you want, I can make a tutorial on how to, to actually use it, but I think it's self-explanatory already. If you have any problems following up with the, uh, with the tool itself, Tell me in the comment section down below and I'm going to try to make a video on it. As you can see there are some errors in here, malloc seems to, to have some errors with uh, allocating the memory or the pointers being uh, freed. Well, probably not uh, something very uh, very bad, but probably we should tell the uh, developers about this error. They have been fixing the, uh, the tool, the first version had a few errors, but now it seems to be working properly. I will make, as I said, a video if you want to, but it's pretty simple, you use the uh, dash air parameter, the correct IPSW, and of course the SHSH uh, blob that should be saved in here. This is actually it guys, do not forget, if you want to see a video on how the Prometheus method works with the nonce collisions on uh, iOS 10.3 beta 1 and of course on uh, iOS 10.1.1, iOS 10.2 and so on, then you should uh, probably go ahead in the description down below, I have made a video on the Prometheus and uh, you should check it out. If you want to check other resources about the iOS restores and especially about the re-restore bug, I have a couple of videos in a playlist down below in the description. Till the next time, do not forget, check out the official tool right here on the website. Thank these guys right here, Alitech12, Trevor and John for their work. Until the next time, I'm Geosnow, peace out.